I just got a box of dragon fruit from my friend Alec of the Shulman Dragon Fruit Orchard in Thousand Oaks, California. And I am basically going to unbox the varieties that Alec sent and, um, and share with you how you too can get your hands on a lot of delicious dragon fruit. Aside from the white varieties you might find at the grocery store. There are a lot of choices. In fact, there's thousands of choices of dragon fruit when it comes to both the exterior colors as well as the interior flesh and a sweetness that ranges from bland to um, as sweet as cherry pie as well, um, believe it or not. And I'll share those varieties with you in just a moment. But let's get to opening this box. Check this out. So here's a business card that was included from the Shulman Dragon Fruit Orchard with a QR code. I'm sure it takes you to a link somewhere, but I'll be including all the links as well in the video description below on where you can buy these, not just fruit, but also cuttings of the fruit that you find the most delicious. And you can see how he packed it to some bubble wrap in there as well. But check out these little teeny tiny dragon fruit and even though this one here wasn't labeled since i just got an assortment of them i know there's something called a sugar baby which um again they're small and hence the name sugar they're very sweet as well um so we've got this and i can feel a giant one over here check that out Look how pretty that is and let's open another one over here now look at the color and even the shape not the same. Let's open these three together. And I'm going to send you some more details in regards to how you can get your hands on not just fruit, but also cuttings. So here we go over here. Oh, what a beauty. And then we've got this one over here. This one, as you can see, it's more of like a red yellow um, hue on the skin compared to this one over here, which is more red with green um, scales. And the dragon fruit, you can imagine, like it's supposed to represent basically a dragon's egg is, was the inspiration behind that. Check that out. Look at this color. How pretty. So this is more of a, like a purple dragon fruit. And again, put these side by side. Look at how different that is. And then we'll open this little one over here. And this interior is like basically as magenta as could be. Um, definitely um, a difference, obviously, in size and color. And now let's give it a shot and basically try each one of these. I know Alec is watching this and he can maybe include some comments below in regards to um, which one's which. But here we're going to take a scoop of this one first. I mean, definitely sweet, delicious um, tasting fruit. And the other thing too is Alec and I did some dragon fruit tasting at the start of this year in January, February. And obviously the more sun the fruit get, the more sweetness and the more um, just of an enjoyable experience you're going to get with your summer fruit than you would in the winter. So um, this is truly the time to get your hands on dragon fruit. So again, this is just personal opinion between these two fruit. Um, Alec, I'm sharing with you, this here has so far been my, my, my favorite. Let's try the third one as well. Again, one of the sweetest dragon fruit I've ever tasted. Um, absolutely delicious. But I'm actually going to put this one at a tie with this guy over here in the middle. So Alec, I'm, I'm really curious, and if I even got this one right, if you wanna, um, again, put the names of all the ones um, we've just tasted. Um, I'm going in for my second bite. That one was just beyond awesome. I truly appreciate the gift um, to me and my family that I'll be sharing it with. Helpful tip is when you get your hands on these dragon fruit, make sure you chill them for at least an hour or two before you eat them, as I did as well. Um, and it just definitely enhances the experience of enjoying dragon fruit. So a good tasting fruit is not necessarily 
being the sweetest fruit. Imagine drinking a cup of sugar water. Doesn't sound appealing. And on the other spectrum is the tartness or the sourness. And sucking on a lemon, even though some people enjoy it, not quite the best experience of eating a fruit. But it's that combination of balance between the sweetness and tartness. And for me, I like fruit that has some tart and a lot of sweetness too. Like So that combination of the two is my personal preference and what attracted me most to the variety of dragon fruit we tried today. Um, so again, Alec will be sharing with us um, the varieties in the comments below on what I found um, most um, desirable and I want to hopefully continuously explore um, the flavors that I like best. The other ones too that come to mind are some of the yellow varieties are usually particularly sweet. Um, but again, it's that balance with sweetness and tartness that truly make a good fruit delicious. So Alec and I have done many videos talking about fertilizing dragon fruit as well as whitewashing dragon fruit, protecting it from damaging summer sunburn and winter sun scald, as well as if there's any damage on your um, plants, you can also protect them with a lot of the Ivy Organic brand products that we have available. But what I want to share with you is when you go to um, Nature with Alec, you'll find a link there. And I'm going to put all these links here in the video description below. On eBay, there's a link that takes you directly to his store where you can get your hands on dragon fruit as well as cuttings. And some of the dragon fruit he highlights is the American Beauty, Physical Graffiti, Delight, Haley's Common, and Laverne. Bear in mind that some of these varieties are self-fruitful, meaning that just one plant, one cutting, once you get it to successfully grow in your backyard orchard, will be enough to create and, and provide fruit to you and your family. So Alec grows a variety, actually I think close to 50 varieties of dragon fruit and um, the ones that you'll see that he promotes the most and makes it like most available are the American Beauty, Physical Graffiti, Delight, Haley's Comet, and Laverne. I just want you to all bear in mind that some of the dragon fruit varieties are self-fruitful, meaning that just one of them will provide you with fruit compared to um, other ones that require cross-pollination between two different varieties of dragon fruit to successfully accomplish fruiting. Um, other ones I just want, I know I mentioned um, cherry pie. In fact, there's a variety known as Enigma, which is a cherry flavor dragon fruit. Um, and there's a list, I'll just read some of these real quick. Asunta, um, Cosmic Charlie, Dark Star Delight, Desert King, Edgar's Baby, um, George's White, Laverne Pink, Elisa Red. Um, Mr. Wu, Physical Graffiti again, Purple Haze, Santa Barbara, Thai Red, Trisha, Voodoo Child, Yellow Palora, um, Zebra, and I'm telling you, the list is endless. There's thousands of variety, and Alec at the Shulman Dragon Fruit Orchard is growing a lot of the most popular varieties. Um, I highly encourage you to coordinate a tour, meet him. Get familiar with dragon fruit, incorporate them in your backyard growing orchards, and um, can't say enough about it. Dragon fruit are one of the easiest fruits you can grow, and it's also a succulent, meaning that it requires very little water and very little care in order to successfully accomplish fruiting success. So highly encourage you all to give it a shot. For those of you that are in colder climates, you can grow them in container and bring them in during weather extremes and still enjoy dragon fruit virtually anywhere in the country. If you've enjoyed this educational lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us that thumbs up, share us with your gardening friends and family, and as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.